up? Stark here. Today I want to go over lens grime. And this is a very popular effect that I'm sure you've seen a, a lot in game cinematics, but I'm sure you've seen it everywhere. Um, just if you're not sure, I'm just using optical flares on this. I would say that arguably, I mean, this is fine and I'm not going to, optical flares is awesome. But I would say that you could also do it this other way that I'm going to show you to where you have a bit more control. And it's actually really, really simple. I'm using this footage I found from the uh, RE site. And this is actually a great type of shot that this would uh, work on because there's there's a lot of contrast and there's bright lights and there's darkness, okay? A shot like this is great. And just because it's gonna be on YouTube, I'm gonna exaggerate it a bit and then tune it, like turn it back down just because, you know, you don't want it too crazy because then it looks too compy and you don't want that. So what I'm gonna do first is just duplicate the footage and then we'll just call this our, sorry, let's call this our mat. Okay, and the first thing we're gonna do is just honestly blur the hell out of it. So I'm just gonna tint it to black and white. And eat. I mean, you don't have to do this. I'm doing it just because it kind of helps visually. And then we're gonna start messing around with clamping down the colors, right? So what we want is we don't want parts that are too bright, because you see this, that's not really a light source. It's reflecting light, but it's not a light source. We want these lights right here to be the majority of our, our, our source lights, right? So let's do that. And there's no real, I guess, crazy method to it. Um, you can probably, there you go, do that guy. And then we're gonna use a box blur. First, I'm gonna show you a, a Gaussian blur. And you might be tempted to do this, but I wanna show you what'll start happening. So this, and that's just the way the algorithm works. We don't want that. So I would stick to a fast box blur. Okay, and let's just turn it up to something like, that will be 21, and that's good. Now the thing is, this isn't strong enough still. Okay, so we're just gonna add an exposure. Okay, and then we're just gonna really brighten this guy up, like a lot. Not that much, but like there. Cool. And then guess what? We're gonna go ahead and add a another box blur. Fast box blur. Do something like this. Alright. Now uh almost done. Now we're just gonna add a curves. And this is more of a kind of tweaking how strong it's gonna be. So now that that's out of the way, we are just gonna Kind of put this aside all right so now we are going to actually duplicate this footage again and we'll just call this blurred footage okay and then we're going to go in and do pre-compose and we will call this grind okay so what we want to do is i have this uh dodgy so we'll call it right here this guy. Um, I'm not gonna scale it down. We'll just keep it this way. But and technically, you don't have to do this, but why not? I'm just gonna do an unmull, and this is a free plugin. It's not really anything crazy. And I'm gonna turn this off. Turn off the alpha, and then we're gonna use this as a luma mat. All right. Now, you might not see where this is going. You might. So here we go. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another fast box blur. Okay. So. And this is where kind of the magic of it happens because what's what's happening is if I turn it off, you see how it's just dark right here. So we'll go over to our main one and let's change this guy to, uh, let's change it to screen. And the reason why I'm saying screen is because right now it's normal. So if you see, doesn't look that good, but now let me make a new viewer. I'll go back in 
to the blurred footage. And what you'll see is let's find a good area where there's some bright light and we'll get some like bleed like right here. Okay. So now we'll turn up the blur radius and you'll start to see how it comes across this footage. Okay. Doesn't look too real. And that's, here's the other problem. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to use this as a luma mat again. And now you'll start to see that it's just in this area of brightness up here. Now, almost done. That's literally the effect, okay? But what's cool is see how we don't have this window popping up? And you could you could actually go into this mat and you could sit here and clamp it right down. So this is where it's all at, basically. So it's just kind of, you can make expressions and link to it. I'm just going to undo, go back to how we had it. There we go. Okay, so now to take this one step further, we're going to add something like well, not even like, we're just gonna add some chromatic effort. We're just gonna go in here and we will, as you can see this guy, okay, I'll just shut this off. So where it's black, there's alpha. So what we're gonna do is just pre-compose this and then we're gonna call it red, okay? And we're gonna duplicate this. And we don't need sound. Don't need solo it. And we'll turn, everything to screen. We don't want to do add. Okay. And the reason we don't want to do add is because we're not, we're not adding light, we're just screening it. And that's the difference if you ever wanted to know. So screen is none of these values will go over one essentially. But if you do add, just like if you did one plus one plus one, it's going to equal three and that's how it works. So now what we want to do is let's just do green. Just call this guy blue. So we're gonna do a channel swapper. Okay. So we're gonna shut off for each one. Pull off, pull off. Or actually, you know what? Not pull off on the alpha, we can keep the alpha. I'm just gonna shut these off as I go. So, so channel swapper. I should have done this all at once, but I will pull off off and then blue channel swapper again and you'll see where this is going fall off fall off blue okay so now when we do it red green and blue all adds up to the colors so now to get the chromatic aberration what we could do is just start to shift these guys randomly, essentially. So you can go like up a little. It's a little extreme, but I'll, I'll keep it. So now when we go back, okay, we have this as Luma. You can see in here, we're getting it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend this. I just don't know if it's showing up because I think this is actually a great amount but just so it shows up a bit more, you can see it. So we'll just RAM preview this. All right, so here we go, RAM previewed. Now I'm gonna turn it back down just because it's bothering me how you know apparent it is, but you can see how it's dynamic. It just goes with your footage. So the more you blur your footage essentially over here, the more it's gonna spread out, okay? But also the other thing too is the, this mat. So it's kind of like a two part process, right? So I think this is pretty awesome. Cause you could, if you watch his fist, watch how it kind of, as it comes across, it'll occlude this light and it goes away. Now there's two more things to keep in mind. So I'll turn that down. Um, you'll probably want to go into here Let's see. So this is more realistic, honestly. So probably this area, but for this, I'll keep it on. Probably just because the way camera works, you might wanna consider just blurring it because the depth of field, it's not gonna be completely sharp if 
obviously the focus is right here. The, the, line, the lens grime is not gonna be in focus. Now the other thing, and this is the biggest one, it's the biggest one and it's the biggest problem that everybody does. I mean, when you're starting out type thing and it's overlooked because it's simple, you know, see that it's overlooked. If you add a camera shake, okay? So you're all done and you add a camera shake to this, after you add the lens, the lens grime, that's wrong, okay? Because again, it's on the, the lens is moving, okay? So see how our camera is moving? So this is stuck to the lens. You're not gonna have, it's not gonna, this isn't gonna be bouncing around like this, all right? So that is a no-no. So keep that in mind. Like, make sure you don't do that because it's a, such a dead giveaway and it's so apparent that you messed up. So this is actually the, end and I just wanted to point this out and you could do this with pretty much any footage but the the more contrast you have like bright sources the better it's going to work if you have this really bright image and you want to add it it's barely going to show up so when you have like these just very distinct points of light it looks awesome what's cool is you could just switch out you could find some textures and do it so thanks guys that's all